The streets of Kabul turned into a set for a film by a Belgian artist. It's part of the Documenta Contemporary Art Exhibition that's been held in Germany every five years since the end of 1955. The idea was to heal the country after the horrors of World War II. Now it's being tried in Kabul. Even now, now and then, you see um, uh, lots of suicide attacks, you see lots of insecurity uh, in the city itself, which, uh, um, which makes it still difficult for people to overcome war. Because we, it's still, we are still in a, in, a, in, a, in a process of siege, as we call it, for artists and for Afghans. And just coming here for, for one hour, attending the exhibition, rel relieves them from that feeling. Most of the exhibits are from Afghan artists. These photographs are by Zalmai. They show the debris of conflict being put to practical use across the country. Sitting amidst one of his installations, a man, Mojadidi, says the artists tried to make their work relevant to Afghans. So you'll see a lot of the artworks from Afghan and uh, non-Afghan uh, artists um, are connected to Afghanistan in some way, to the land, to the people, to the culture, uh, to the history, um, to the architecture. Another installation compares Kabul's destroyed Darul Aman Palace with the rebuilt Friedrichianum in Kassel, Germany. It had been destroyed in World War II. Now, the merits of contemporary art are often hotly debated in artistic circles, but just the fact that this exhibition is taking place in Kabul is a sign of a city that's growing in confidence. The exhibition is being staged in the beautifully restored Queen's Palace, but it is destruction that is one of the main inspirations for the Afghan artists. This piece by Zainab Hadari shows the bleeding heart of Afghanistan, attacked from all sides by its enemies. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Kabul.